Of course, we're all ready for the Apple Watch Series 3 to be killed off, especially now that Apple is still selling that watch and they've confirmed it's not getting watchOS 9, which launches in less than two months. What kind of crazy times has the chip shortage done to Apple? But you may actually be more surprised to realize that every single Apple Watch in the lineup today is probably going to get killed off slash discontinued in less than 60 days. Let's begin. Yeah, I guess the Apple Watch Series 7 being discontinued shouldn't be a tremendous shock to much of you because ever since the Apple Watch SE entered the picture, Apple doesn't seem that interested in keeping around last year's flagship watch because, of course, Apple Watches have all gotten very, very similar with each other. So just like the Series 6 was kicked off after one year, the Series 7 will likely be kicked off in just a couple months. And what's different about this time around, though, is Mark Gurman's been talking a lot about how Apple's prepping this Apple Watch SE too. So a design that's very reminiscent of the Series 4 and the Series 5 doesn't have the thin bezels that the Series 7 has, but he's saying this will have the new S8 chip, which isn't supposed to be drastically better than the S7, which already was not drastically better than the S6, but it's a watch at the end of the day. And of course, with the chip shortage and everything, it's not like they could advance the technology and power efficiency or performance on a watch all that much, but still, regardless, right now the SE uses an S5, so I'm sure there will still be some noticeable improvements like the SE2 will likely get faster charging because it didn't have that before and the Apple Watch Series 8 I'm anticipating to be rocking maybe one new health sensor like body temperature checking that's mostly what we've been hearing about of course we all want glucose monitoring and blood pressure checking but that's still rumored to be delayed Apple wants to get that right and FDA approved but the Series 8 I think will look incredibly similar to the Series 7 but what is capturing most people's attention and what a lot of us want to talk about is the this new Apple Watch Pro, and that's what's rumored to have all of the more interesting, exciting upgrades, but it's gonna cost you, because it's not gonna be an entry-level watch. Of course, Pro stands for profit for Apple, so that implies that it's gotta start somewhere around $900, maybe even more, but that's going to be justified by Apple killing off not just the SE, not just the Series 7, and not just the Series 3, but also the whole concept of the Apple Watch Edition entirely. Just from my own anecdotal evidence, I'm pretty sure that not that many people are dropping a thousand dollars plus on Apple watches and Apple looked at the drawing board and thought how do we change this because of course Apple watches have a hard time lasting more than four to five years because their battery degradation Apple needed to figure out a way to get people to justify spending more money on their wearables especially during this inflationary environment we're in so Mark Gurman did drop a little bit new information on this upcoming Apple watch pro that just confused the heck out of me like Mark you get a lot of things right so I respect you and I'm glad to read your updates in newsletters, but uh, basically he loved to tell everyone everything that the Apple Watch Pro won't be. He said it'll be the first major redesign since the Series 4. First of all, ouch. Us Series 7 owners take offense to that. I mean, come on, the Series 4 was just like the same design, slightly more curvy with a bigger display and thinner bezels. How can you say the Series 7 was not a true redesign? Okay, I'm just a little bit bitter on everyone's reaction to the Series 7. I still think this is a great watch, but anyway, he said that it it will be a redesign, but it won't have the flat edge design that everyone's expecting. Well, okay, I'm quick to believe that because everyone thought we were gonna get the flat edge design last year and that didn't happen. But he's also saying it's not a circular watch, so they're not going with the whole round display approach because honestly, if they did, it would become impossible to tell the difference between an Apple Watch and an Android watch. So I'm glad they're not going in that direction personally, but he said it's likely that they're going to be using a more durable material like titanium, but again, Again, a redesign that's not flat edges, and no, it's not the same design as we have now. So what the heck is this supposed to be? Like a triangle watch or real, real sharp edges around it? Like a Cybertruck inspired watch? Yeah, that would sound uncomfortable on the wrist, so I don't think that's it either. But it always just frustrates me when we get this little information, but someone clearly knows something, at least a little bit about it. Maybe this is all his sources are telling him. It's like, it's not that. No, it's not that either. But if I were speculating, which I love to do on this channel, I would interpret this report as because Apple wanted to improve the glass durability on the Apple Watch and maybe use something like Ceramic Shield, which is what they've been using on iPhones, but they didn't really start talking about Ceramic Shield until they switched to that flat glass on the iPhone 12 and 13 series. My prediction is because Apple loves this iconic look of Apple Watch is even on the Pro variant, it's still gonna have a titanium rounded chassis, but maybe just flat glass instead of the 2.5D glass that we have now. That's the 
only logical way I can interpret this report of saying, like, it's the first redesign we've had in a while, so it's like, yeah, the flat glass will be noticeable, and that will improve the durability, and of course there will be a screen size improvement, hopefully a battery life improvement. I know, there's people like Ryan from our Discord that are watching this video thinking, how ugly of a watch do I have to buy to get better battery life? That's all I really care about. But it's just something tells me so many people were pumped and excited for this squared off Apple Watch design that it's just still not going to happen, but maybe the flat glass thing comes true for the durability sake, but maybe Apple's figured out that having this rounded chassis on the sides is just the best way to prioritize comfort, and there was some artwork done a while back that showcased Apple having kind of a more flat edge design, but still rounded on the back, and while I don't think that render is spot on accurate, I do think it's a step in the right direction that Apple's not going to bring the exact same squared off chassis from the iPhone to the Apple Watch, but you know kind of how the new MacBook Pros and the new M2 MacBook Air looked with, you know, kind of the rounded bottom with the flat top. That's my guess as to where this Apple Watch Pro direction is going, but it's very important to take all of this crap with a grain of salt because last year all of the leaks and rumors ended up being totally off on the Apple Watch, and even if it is true and they got the flat glass on there and it still has the rounded chassis and everything, I'm sorry, I'm still gonna take this. I think the Series 7 design looks so insanely good with having the pixels spill over the edge like they do. I don't get tired of looking at it, and my only worry with the Apple Watch Pro is that they're gonna bring 120 hertz to it because you guys know how much I've punished my bank account for any device that rocks 120 hertz. Like, I have to have it. I can't say no. And Apple knows I can't say no and they're trying to abuse that power that's in my brain because every time I look at a high refresh rate display, my eyes are just thanking my brain, thanking my soul, and I'm all at peace with the world. So if you think I'm petty enough to look at these little rainbow lines on my watch face and see the motion not be at 120 hertz, yeah, that does bother me. But but luckily right now, there's no way to solve that issue because I have the newest Apple Watch. But with the Apple Watch Pro entering the picture with new features, new screen sizes and everything, and the Apple Watch Edition being scrapped for life, maybe the Herme Apple Watch will stick around so Apple can still say, See, we're a luxury brand. People buy us for luxury. Meanwhile, probably the Series 3 is the best-selling Apple Watch at 200 bucks. But please, Apple, don't put ProMotion on the watch because then I'm going to be forced to upgrade. But if none of this stuff sounds interesting to you, just remember that even the Series 7 and the original SE will likely be available certified refurbished at a discounted price in the coming months. So just have to wait a little bit longer. But any Apple Watches you guys are planning on upgrading to in the next couple months, what would get you to upgrade aside from battery life? We know that everyone just wants better battery. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you all in the next one.